My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, my name's Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, we're gonna be doing a miso poached salmon. It is delicious and you know it's always simple and easy to make and you'll have it on the table in a matter of minutes. And I'm pairing it with this Pence Pinot Noir from Saint Inez. It is amazing, you will definitely love it. Let's get started here. I have some miso paste and some fish stock here. So I'll tell you a little bit about this while I'm working. Let's get the miso paste into the pan here. Okay, and I am using a yellow miso paste right now. And it's a cold pan. I am just now turning on the heat and I'm adding the fish stock right now. This is a homemade fish stock. Um, but you're welcome to do store-bought, whatever you like. Just please watch your sodium content because miso paste is very, very salty. So make sure if, you look, if you're buying your actual fish stock, make sure that you're finding one that has low sodium in it. It's a very important tip. Okay, and a little bit more about the miso while this starts to heat up with for us is I'm using a yellow miso right here. Now, it comes in white, yellow, and dark red, and that depends on the fermentation. White meaning the least amount of fermentation, and the dark red meaning the most fermentation, which brings the bigger, bolder flavors than the white. I like the middle of the road yellow. Um, I think goes perfect with fish. So that's what we're gonna start off with. Let's get this up to a simmer and then we're gonna add a few more flavors to our stock here. Okay, we have a slight simmer going on with our miso stock right now. Now we're gonna just add some flavor enhancers. I have some fresh ginger cut up into tiny little match big box slices and we're gonna throw those right on in and along with that, I have some garlic I sliced up. And all the exact measurements are right down below in the description center. And you probably ask, why am I just throwing in the garlic raw like that? When garlic is in boils in a water uh, stock, it is almost like roasting it in the oven. It becomes sweet and delicate, very, very delicious. Now, to add a little bit of spice, I have a red chili pepper right here. We're going to slice that up. I'm going to add the seeds. That's up to you. Uh, if you don't want it as hot, please remove the seeds. So let me slice this up and throw this in. Now this is the time before you add your salmon is just to do a little taste test. You want to make sure the sodium level is good. You want to make sure everything you put in there you're agreeing with, and that tastes amazing. Now we have this wonderful piece of salmon here. It is a wild, fresh caught salmon, skin on, uh, for a two different reasons. Now let me put it in, and I'll let you know. Now this is extremely important. Do you see before I put it in there that it is not boiling? That is extremely, extremely important that it is not boiling and that the stock, if it doesn't come over top of your salmon, see, and my salmon is just barely reaching the stop, the top of the liquid that you will poach over top of your salmon. Uh, this will go probably for about seven to 10 minutes, depending on the thickness of your salmon. 
I see some boils, so I'm going to knock it down to low. You don't want to see any bubbling. That's extremely, extremely important because uh, it actually can toughen up your fish. So it's going to sit and poach in this soft, hot, hot water, and it will be delicate, delicious. It will absorb all those miso flavors and everything that we put in there. And the reason why we left the skin on is for when we're going to pull it out, it's going to keep its shape and not fall apart and also to keep more moisture in with the salmon. So those are extremely important tips. It's been about nine minutes and I'm going to grab my salmon out. You can tell by pushing down on it and you have the feel of raw salmon because you touched it. This is more of a springy bounce back to it. And I used to, I like a flexible uh, spatula so I can bend it and get it underneath the salmon and try to get the whole salmon in one piece. If it doesn't work, that's okay. But I was able to, and that's what that skin helps. And we'll remove that skin later. So uh, just add a little bit more moisture to the salmon. I'm just gonna top the salmon off here with just a little bit of moisture while it rests for a few minutes. So that's just gonna rest for a few minutes. And now we're gonna add our vegetables to our stock here. While our salmon rests, I cranked up the heat to a, a simmer a boil and let's add in our veggies. They're gonna go really, really, really fast. Our shiitake mushrooms are going in first. So shiitake's on in. I sliced up some scallions, some red peppers are going in. And all the exact measurements will be right down in the description center. And this is just, they're all s sliced up into very thin little slivers. It's going to make them go really, really, really fast. And then I have some, this is not broccolini, this is sweet baby broccoli. And this is going in. And this is only going to go for two minutes on uh, a simmer. And this will all be done and it'll go for one minute longer because we are going to add this Buna Mashiji. Uh, this is the beach. I worked with this before, so a lot of you are familiar with it. The only thing I say is you have to take off this edge right here. Let me grab a knife. Okay, you want to take this off, this woody end, and then they'll all separate. And they're beautiful and delicate, but they, they cook so fast. Um, we're going to let this heat back up. And in the meantime, while this starts to boil, and we'll let that go, let's talk about this Pinot Noir. Uh, pence from Santa Inez. This place is such a beautiful place. And this wine, it is so decadent and, and very light. Uh, it's a Pinot. So a lot of people go, why red with fish? No, it just goes perfectly together. They really do pair up because the salmon is a fattier fish with that miso. And this really light red that is just very mild and tannins and just has nose of juniper and maple and a taste of dark plum and like a cherry tomato. It is beautiful. They'll just go perfectly together. They really do. So we have her up to a boil right now. So this is going. Remember, all these are going to go really, really, really fast. Super fast. So let's get some of these Buna Shemiji mushrooms or the tree, beach mushroom as they call it, because they grow on the beach trees, right on in. We're not going to use all those. And the last thing that we're putting in there is just a squeeze. We need now some acidity, right? Because we have all that wonderful flavors from the miso so let's squeeze some nice little bit of acidity from some lemon juice 
Lemon? Did I say lemon? <laughs> lime juice. Hello, Jeff. We're going to squeeze some lime juice right on in. Perfect. Now let's just punch that down a little bit. And that is just going to go for another minute. I want my vegetables crunchy and I can't wait to play it up and try this. Before I dig in, I would first like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes here at Wine and Dine with Jeff. But I can't wait any longer. I gotta try. I've got a spoon because this broth was just amazing. Amazing. Look how moist and delicate that salmon in is. It just falls to pieces. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. This is delicious. That miso, along with that spicy pepper and the ginger and the garlic and all those veggies, just go perfect. Thank you so much for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff, and we'll see you next week.